Chris, thanks. We have new details about the Artemis One mission. It's now set to launch this Friday, which is September 2nd. Now, the rocket set to take off this morning on the unmanned mission beyond the moon. But, again, there was an issue. I know a lot of people disappointed about this. One of the rocket's four engines, when hydrogen was run through to prepare for the launch, uh, there was a malfunction there. So, at least they caught it. Friday, the soonest that they could attempt to launch again. It'll all depend on how that testing goes. Wow. But did you know two South Carolina women sit behind this historic launch? Wow. They'll both are graduates from Clemson. Melissa Weich and Charlie Blackwell Thompson. And Weich is the first black female to lead a NASA Space Center. And she works in Houston. Blackwell Thompson is the first female launch director. So, there we go. That two there wow. from Clemson. That's impressive. Fox Carolina's Anna Arundel live in studio after spending some time at Clemson and so amazing to see that female presence like this coming out of Clemson. I know, absolutely. Yeah. The school says that these women right here are role models for students and the next generation to come. They say that Charlie Blackwell Thompson comes back often telling students to shoot for the stars. He said the sky's the limit, but maybe beyond the sky is the limit in this case, right? <laughs> Professor Dan Nodiker works at Riggs Hall at Clemson University home to the College of Engineering, where Charlie Blackwell Thompson once studied. She has been committed, I think, throughout the time that she's been a working professional at, at NASA in giving back to future scientists and future engineers, whether that's visiting K-12 through classrooms to talk to them about what she does and what they could do, or coming back to Clemson. Blackwell Thompson graduated in 1988 with a degree in computer engineering. Now she sits behind one of the most important computers in the world as the first female launch director for Artemis One. Three, two, one, fire. Professor Nodiker says he and his students are sitting on pins and needles ready to watch the historic launch in action. I think our eyes will all be glued to our computer screen on the, on the NASA streaming channel or other television channels to um, watch the launch real time. He says if Blackwell Thompson was here. Best of luck this week, but we know that that's luck built on a lot of hard work and creativity over the years. We appreciate their efforts on behalf of our nation and the world to achieve this important goal for us. And thank you to them for helping inspire us all. Well, Professor Nonaker says that the engineering school has about 7,000 students, with about 25% of them being women, a number they hope will continue to grow as the years go on. In the studio, Anna Arinder, Fox Carolina News.